we said you take your phone because you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, right? Here we are on this dive boat with 12 Uh other divers, and everybody's taking pictures. Somebody takes a picture of us. We say, ooh, I want that. What do you normally do? You normally email the photo to somebody or text it to them or use Google Photos to send it to them. Well, there's no internet connection, so you're not going to get it. There are ways to go straight from one phone to another phone. The Apple uses something called AirDrop. How about, let's take a selfie first. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> How's my hair? So, so we're going to take a selfie. Okay. This is my new iPhone. I just took the photo on the new iPhone. This is my old iPhone. I want to transfer the photo from one to another. Let me show you how that works. It's called AirDrop. Notice I am in airplane mode. I do not have an internet connection. The photo cannot go up to the cloud and down to the other phone. It has to go direct from phone to phone. Here's how you do it. Open the photo with whatever app you use. I use Google Photos. And here is the photo I just took. I want to share that. I want to send it to this phone. I tap share and then share to and there is AirDrop. Now notice the only thing that shows up is my iPad which is also in this same room but that's not where I want to send it. I want to send it to this little iPhone. So what's wrong? The receiving person must set their airdrop settings to receive. It's in settings and general. You can tell it, I will receive any time from somebody who's in my contacts for 10 minutes. So this is what we did on board the boat. Everybody had an iPhone. We were the only ones that had Android. And they were just sharing photos back and forth but I had to help a few of them to turn on their setting to accept. So everyone for 10 minutes. Notice right away, Chris's iPhone appears. I tap it. And voila, it's there. This is just, it's just amazing. AirDrop is amazing. It works wonderfully. Everybody on the boat with iPhones were able to share photos with one another even though we were in a total dead zone when it came to internet. So AirDrop is wonderful. Now there is a way to do this with Androids. It's not quite as dependable. So here is my Samsung. Every day when they cleaned our rooms they made a little towel character. So here was a towel character and I put my iPad in front of him and put my glasses on. I think that's so cute. And I think Jim's phone should have that photo. I open the photo on my phone. I tap share and then it's called quick share. I tap quick share and hopefully I will see Jim show up. Share to contacts. It has the same kind of settings. I will go to settings and search settings for quick share. Who can share with you? No one. That's not going to work. So you have to go into the quick share settings on the receiving phone and turn it on so that at least contacts or everyone for only 10 minutes. Now, immediately on my phone, Jim's Pixel phone 
shows up. I tap it. One image is immediately been sent from this phone to this phone. He has to accept. And it has been put in his downloads folder. And I can view it using Google Photos. But it has been put in his downloads folder. So you need to have Google Photos looking at the downloads folder for it to show up.